Hello, and welcome to Steel Division 2, and to game one of a fight between Fanti X and Onord. Onord on the left here uh, with 70H Storm, and Fanti with Task Force 45, very strong division. Uh, but 70H Storm, not too shabby itself, its medium range is excellent, and uh, this is a map with a lot of medium range, I will say. These uh, light force engagements often proving quite pivotable. But, uh, well, let's see what we're bringing to the field here, as uh, Onord's got Sturmschützen, Schützen, Pioneer 4 on Panzerschreck, MG42, Pac-40, Flammenwerfer, and then in the center, to secure this very crucial, important position, uh, looks like he's got Flammenwerfer, MG42, multiple IG-18s, the Gleitgren, Sturmschützen, Storm Pioneers, Pioneer 4, Flak 43, 37 millimeter, and uh, Flak 41 as well. For fancy starting from the top here, quad engineers, converted gunners, uh, 50 cal, the M5A1 and the M10. Engineer leader, two more 50 cals, M5A1 again, and then three converted gunners. M5A1 coming down the center here, and in the bottom, another 50 cal with uh, multiple converted gunners here. And one more with Engineers, Cavalry Scouts as well. Followed up by a Sherman and a 5A1 coming at it. <laughs> the income is Maverick as uh, this fight starts off here. Owner deploying his pack very far down. But not a bad idea if you are anticipating to go lighter on this area, which is common to see. Um, players either forego... Well, almost both of these flags here in the start to just completely overwhelm this position and try to push for flags that way. Or they go passive down here and it's all about this fight in the center here as uh, multiple uh, Begleit Canadias and Sturm Pioneers in the front left as all unload. The 50 cal is doing a great job pinning things down here, but they do start firing. Looks like the IG-18s are actually... Uh, Firing at the M5A1, do have a chance to penetrate that, but and actually, I think the Pack 41 gets the kill. But you would want to be using these to pin down units where they can actually hit them and do damage. The heat shells on the IG18 are notorious for not being very good at that. Nothing quite happened yet down south. Uh, this engagement clearly being the pivotal one right here, as one more 50 cal is left firing quite the range on those and uh, pinning down all these IG-18s down here but one more IG-18 is firing and there's no real like over 1500 meter um, fire here down south as we see the very double upfitted uh, Sturm Pioneers as well as the <laughs> Begleit Pioneers which do come in at one vet by default, followed up by Sturmschutz and the 13 MP44s. Uh, cheeky capture on this flag as the 39 starts, and engineers come in. They are forced to move by the Sturm Pioneers as the Sturmschutz come in. Ooh, engineer do get their TNT off. That's very dangerous for these two units as they both go down at the same time, actually. Very dangerous. Ooh, engineer here falls back before it can get its uh, TNT off, but perhaps a mistake there. One more engineer's left as another Stumpa and Bukalek gunner to fight over those converted gunners coming in as well. These converted gunners are actually very good in CQC. If you can mix them together with a flamer or something like that. Um, perhaps not quite needed in, I'm not even sure if uh, Test Force 45 does get any decent flamers, but... Um, Together with the Sturm Pioneer and the DPS of both the Sturmschützen and the Black Grenadier, engineers are just going to melt. Converter gunners are here, but only their um, bars are firing, so not the most effective, just that 0 0.5 damage. Uh, but certainly allow the 50 cal here to get on target for some extra time. Both the converter gunners are forced to fall back as this force gets cleared out. Pack 40 moving up to cover this off. This Pack 41 actually also likely with intents to move forward. IG-33 coming in and a commander. Pretty interesting for the start here. 
There's only one leader, this engineer leader here, providing veteran C, but um, yeah, so maybe not quite the best call on in the world, but we'll help out with some of these engagements. Pack 41 gets another snipe on a transport coming in, and hopefully this commander, yep, it is going around just for this AA from the looks of things. Cavalry Scouts coming into spot for this M uh, M10. Dual inmates coming in as well. Usually uh, this position on the map is considered better because of this um, good cutoff position right here. But really all you need to do to shut this down is have an AT gun over here or somewhere over here. And as long as the enemy doesn't control this force, it is very hard to cut this route off. And now with the pack forcing away that M10, uh, the reinforcements have more than enough time to come in and there'll be no sniping happening today. So, interesting start to the match. Um, Onord has managed to secure this position here, which I think will give him the lead in the long run. As uh, starting on the this side of the map certainly is very very important to get a strong foothold in the center here and then also not get pushed out it's basically over if you get pushed out of uh, i would say this this line here if this flag goes down in any case which would mean no more support units or anything like that lying around here ig18 get shots on target on those m8 uh you may still have to be careful here that ig18 does have a powerful sheet shell but only four of them, and it's not very accurate at that range. One more heat shell, all of them missing. Doesn't even get a single kill. Bit of luck required for that, definitely, but... Nothing quite happening just yet. Engineers down south. Mm, gotta be careful here. The shits are perfectly pr uh, positioned here to shoot anything coming across this little area. And then the Sturmschützen as well, these MP44s excel at killing things out of cover. Shook whoever coming forward. Gotta be careful though, these uh, M8s and this M5A1 could actually double team it, but that would be very risky for the M5A1 to do, in my opinion. With all these uh, pack guns and such back here. Another engineer leader coming in, providing a recon to the cavalry scouts from the looks of it, as we get another mortar half track. Two mortar half tracks actually coming in. Looks like he's hoping to abuse the fact that the radio uh, that these leaders do come with radio to um, mortar out these positions. But um, really, I'm not sure if not supporting this um, front line here with more units is, is a mistake. He's only got the 50 cal and the converted gunners, and while he does have the double vetted GMC to counter any airplay, what he really needs to be worried about is um such a critical mass of units getting filtered into this position while he's trying to set up indirect fire and stuff like that um that he onord is able to push out fenty here out of the center and they are quite literally exactly where where onord wants to be these units in the yellow cover here we'll perhaps struggle with this m5a1 but there is a panzer strike coming up for that stug kills the m10 here not great. M20 getting out of the range of sight there. He keeps firing on the converted gunners. Half truck's going to be trying to take out that pine you feel on the pack 40. Still no action down south. As we see another 88 uh, coming out. IG-18 is getting support and fire as the Pioneer Field moves on to give the Sturmschutz in their veteran C Panzer Shrek in the back, ready to kill that M5A1 if it shows its head. Mortifier has been switched to the Pack 43 here. A very dangerous position. Uh, interesting that it doesn't get line of sight over here, but this wouldn't be the first time we've seen Onward know some sneaky things about line of sight. But with these long range 2K. Uh, fire support tools here. You can shut off this road of reinforcements and shutting this off does enable you to capture this flag. So it's not completely hopeless for the south side. 
in any means, and Onor does also seem to be very capable of uh, doing it. That IG-33 shot actually pinning down the 50 cal enough for the Storm Pioneers to surrender it immediately. Not that that would be hard press to surrender 50 cal that can't fire back, but uh, ooh, Panzer Shrek, uh, well micro, the M5A1 does see it, and we'll be backing off as the converting gunners now. Take another fight with IG-18s as the Sturmschützen tear them apart. DPS of the Converting Gutters do come in here, but no match for Sturmschützen. Pioneer did get uh, forced back there for the looks of it, but didn't take any damage. And the Pack 40 as well seems to be moving quite heavily. Mortar's firing away at the IG-18, but there's a Nibelwerfe coming in. Certainly, if that Nibelweff decides to counter battery these uh, mortar half tracks, I don't think they'll go down right away. But it is a potential target, and the Nibelweff uh, may be potentially relying a little bit on RNG to kill those mortar half tracks. It can do a very good job at that. Sturmschützen now moving into the green cover, not quite where you want to be, uh, as these uh, or a engineer does pick a fight there, and one of the Sturmschützen does get chunked down quite a bit. However, more storm shoots and coming down. No other really dedicated close range units left here. Just these uh, converted gunners, which are also, I believe, 15 man units. <laughs> Mortar's actually hitting the own converted gunners there. As uh, this GMC actually has to be very careful. That might have actually been the engineer leader trying to give radio range uh, as the GMC now forced to fall back. CGMC, sorry. Also, Nigel going to do with this, uh, just packing up this pack 43, so no infantry can really support this position. More than half tracks still alive. Looks like the Nova is out of its uh, multi munition truck there, and the converted gunners that disheartened trait coming into into play, being forced back by the shoots in there. Engineeros. The uh, Brazilian engineers coming in, and actually getting sniped again by that Pack 43. That is a very dangerous gun. I will say that much. Looks like it's being provided line of sight from the Schützen, and another IG 33 up here. Actually, interesting not to see the Nibelwerfe firing. Blue Light Pioneers coming to secure that flag. More engineers coming in. Oh, getting shot by the IG that time. Do get suppressed here. But we see that name of F uh, going for those mortars. And might actually catch that M10 in the process if uh, Fancy is not careful with that. Ooh, oh, it does get lucky. He takes them both out in a single shot, and that's uh, not what you want to be seeing seeing there. Now with this uh, center position and as well this northern flag completely in the hands of owner, we do hit the 59. Big Light Pioneer coming out on here to clean up this converted gunners. Will be a race to the house from the looks of things, but Big Light Pioneer is actually finding a the converted gunners before that, getting some MP44 shots on targets. They just take a massive amount of suppression from the uh, multiple MP44s and G43s in that unit. Nibavafa being microed, so no counter battery shenanigans can happen. M4A1 on the field now, multiple M4 uh, with the howitzers here, the 105mm howitzer. Not the best unit in the world, but uh, they are 2K HE, which is exactly what you do need to deal with one of these uh, Pack 43s if you're not going to rely on airplanes and such. And um, Onard certainly has uh, an <laughs> air screen up here to prevent any kind of airplane play trying to secure those oh so important units down there. JU88 Recon providing him with a good view range over this map. As uh, this GMC tries its best to ward itself off, it's off. Engineeros moving in here. It looks like they did get in position, but just just the mere presence of this uh, Naso on the Pack 43 and the IG 33 here, even a bit maybe of an overinvestment, um, completely stops 
these units from being able to come in and deploy nice and neatly, forcing them to walk in from this side. And when they're walking in like that, they are prime targets for Schutzen to just absolutely destroy them. There's a pack 40, in fact, and an IG-18 that are moving forward. Pack 40 is going to get line of sight on that M5A1 from the looks of things. As a whole ton of Nisei rifles come in. One of the very good units that uh, Tesla 45 does get, is along with those converted gunners, that makes it very strong. These have two bars, the Thompson, multiple S uh, self-loading rifles, and then also six bazooka rounds with a decent vet curve as well. Nope, Stug 3 here, taking shots at that 105 Bill Sherman does get the kill there. Not what you want to see. It looks like the other 105 went down as well. Stuart, GMC. Whew. Big suppression on that. That might be it. Right there. Yeah, looks like it. Got in line of sight with that pack 40 for just half a second too long. IG-33 now plastering these units as they desperately try and take something back. But uh, oh no, we're definitely not letting that happen. M4A1 down in the south here. Not really being worth the investment as another one comes in. And now an off map from Onor, this 210 mil Beobachterwagen. <laughs> Just straight onto all these units. And Fanti, seeing the writing on the wall, does surrender. So, now we see who game one. I did uh, live cast game two, which was a much more exciting game in my opinion, but a good one nonetheless, as we see um, how important it is to secure that center position on Talianta. It's almost a gamble picking this map a lot of the time, I feel, because you do have that um, issue with you can get the good side or the bad side, and then you're basically forced into one of two play styles if you do get the bad side. Um... But yeah, pack 43 here, getting a lot of kills here. And Onor just completely blasting Fanti. Well, hope you enjoyed this short video, and uh, goodbye.